Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of TinyTim.com's Motivational Monday. Just coming back from the gym, and I am going to talk to you today about fear. When I was 20 years old, I was working as an inside sales manager in a telemarketing room that was filled with people that were a lot older than I was, but my boss had given me a shot, and eventually I had made my way into management. And one day he came to me and he had noticed that our troops, our, our salespeople, when they would come in in the morning, they were feeling deflated and discouraged. And he asked if I would be willing to stand up and give a talk for 10 to 15 minutes to get them pumped up every morning. Now I know you kind of know the end of the story, so you know that I'm comfortable today speaking in front of a group, but back then I was terrified. Some of these salespeople were more than twice as old as I was, a lot more experienced, and definitely felt like they knew the world and especially the world of sales a lot better. Some of them had been selling longer than I had been alive. And so the idea terrified me. And my initial reaction, my initial thought was to say no, but I told them I would think about it. And I started thinking about if I were to do this, how would I go about it? How would I learn? You know, when I was younger, I had dreamt of being up on stage. In fact, I had always thought that one day I could be a stand-up comedian. That was when I was a kid. That's what I wanted to be when I grew up. My mom bought me a Fozzie Bear doll, and I thought I would be just like Fozzie and just as funny because as a kid, I thought he was the funniest thing on earth. And so, standing up in front of that room today, though, it had been so long since I had had that dream, or so long since I would given up on that dream, that I didn't think I was capable. So before I made up my decision, I started listening to some talks from some world famous speakers. And this was back in the days of Napster. So I actually went on to Napster and I downloaded uh, copies of I Have a Dream and copies of you know John F. Kennedy speeches and copies of other great speeches throughout history. I read Patrick Henry's Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death and I thought, could I ever be these guys? Which, by the way, is the absolute worst thing to do. That's like saying, I'm going to become a, become a bodybuilder and start with Arnold Schwarzenegger's routine. It was a huge road to climb, but it gave me an idea of what I could be capable of. These talks inspired me, but terrified me. Nevertheless, I decided to say yes and accept the assignment. The most incredible thing happened. As soon as I got up in front of the room, I stood up, I was full of confidence, I was going to give my Patrick Henry speech, and I sucked. I was terrible. I didn't know what I was doing. I had never done that before. And I bumbled my way through it, but guess what? I got through it. And day two, I got up there again, and I gave another talk. Day three, four, five. One year later, I'm getting up there, and I feel like a million bucks. People are starting to comment that they really appreciate my words. They're getting excited. And I had found a passion and an excitement for something that initially terrified me. Now I want to take you back to that decision that I made over 15 years ago to say yes to that. What if I had said no? What if I had given up? What if I had said I'm not ready because let's face it, I wasn't. And what if I allowed that fear to dictate my life? Where would I be today? I wouldn't have had the opportunities that I've been given professionally. I wouldn't have been able to develop my public speaking. I have worked the last 16 years tirelessly on something that I was absolutely terrified of. Because I said yes to something that I was afraid of but knew that would make me a better person, I have had been granted so many incredible opportunities. See, opportunities like this come up all the time and sometimes we miss them, but sometimes we're too scared to say yes. So today for this Motivational Monday, I want you to look at the things that you've been scared to say yes to. What would happen if you would say yes? Would you suffer through a little bit of soreness? Would you have a little bit of hunger? Would you have to stretch yourself mentally beyond places that you're at right now? You know, the first time I stood up to speak in public, I was awful. And today, I'm not saying that I'm incredible, but I've put in thousands and thousands of hours worth of work because I was given that one opportunity but there's two things about opportunities. First of all, you have to be courageous enough to say yes to them. And second of all, you have to do the work to honor them. And that's what I've done. I work tirelessly on my craft. And that's why later this week, I'm going to be making an announcement about a big public speech that I would never have been given the opportunity to give if I hadn't have said yes, even though I was terrified. What can you say yes to this week that you're terrified of? but that will transform your life if only you put in the work. Make today motivational and magical and start saying yes.